I'm Tom Arnold from Sugarland, Texas. One of the most exciting developments in scleral lens technology has been scleral profilometry. I'd like to spend a few minutes with you talking about one such instrument, the Eaglet Eye Surface Profiler, or ESP. I've been working with Eaglet for a number of years now, and I'm very excited to see how far this technology has come. Profilometry, I feel, is, is the, really the next generation of scleral lens fitting technology. I think it's an essential technology. Profilometry covers a much wider measurement zone, not only of the cornea, but also the sclera. And after all, that's where we're uh, trying to fit our lenses. This, take, this means there's no more guesswork when fitting a scleral lens. We know the surface that we're trying to align to. Things like pinguecule and other lacerations of the scleral surface, tubes and shunts can be analyzed and measured objectively. And the really exciting um, aspect of this is empirical lit fitting is really uh, possible now where we don't have to use diagnostic lenses that we have to disinfect and, and maintain all the fit kits that, that we've been using these years. So this is all possible because of the ESP, the eye surface profiler. The ESP is one camera with two light projectors onto the eye. The image processing is via Fourier transformation. And this allows us and gives us a 3D height profile with half a million data points. And I find this very useful in explaining to patients um, how sophisticated uh, our lenses are and how challenging uh, their eyes actually are and giving them the reassurance that now we have the skills uh, to give them a good comfortable fit the first time. This gives us a fast single shot measurement process that occurs in less than a second. We don't extrapolate the data. We don't have to stitch data together. It's real data. Included in the ESP is a comprehensive analysis software with over 14 maps comprising 18 different parameters and two lens calculators. It's accurate on the cornea to two microns and the sclera to 10 microns. This gives us unprecedented accuracy of both cornea and sclera, topography as well as profilometry. The smart built-in algorithms are really the key to this instrument. The first fit algorithms give us the best fitting design. This results in a faster process, much less chair time, and gives us a better fit with improved comfort and optimal patient outcomes. No longer do we have to try two, three, or more diagnostic lens searching for one that's going to work for any particular patient. In addition, it's easy to use, it's easy to learn with a very short uh, learning curve. My staff took to it in a very short period of time and became very proficient. So algorithms are available for over 40 lenses and over 18 labs with more being added all the time. The ESP is based on lab neutrality. We use a number of different laboratories 100% focused on specialty lenses, which I think is the future of independent private optometry. Scleral lenses, ortho-K, hybrid, soft lenses, even corneal RGPs uh, can benefit from the eye surface profiler. And as you can see, uh, we work with a number of different labs, and I'm sure most of these names are familiar to, to all of us. So one platform that's open, working with all the major labs. The image capture is easy. We lubricate the eye, we pre-align the device on the patient, instill fluorescein, uh, dim the light, and instruct the patient to look straight ahead. We open both eyelids, we do a final check of our alignment, and just click. This is what the technician sees. Open the eyelids, direct the patient to look straight ahead, primary gaze, align the Purkinje images, and check that we have a good area uh, that we've captured. And what this gives us 
Uh, this is where I start out is the bisphere elevation map. This is a great map and you can see that uh, measurements up to 20 millimeters in diameter are, are very feasible and realistic. You can actually measure with accuracy the amount of, of deviation from the best fit, best fit sphere. In this case, 358 microns. No wonder our scar lenses decenter. In addition, it gives us corneal measurements. So it also it can be thought of as, as a topographer as well. It gives us SIMKs, it gives us corneal astigmatism. And something I emphasize to, to new fitters and students fitting any scleral lens, HVID, the horizontal visible iris diameter. That's very, very important in deciding which scleral lens uh, you would like to fit. In addition, it's important to know where the landing of your particular lens is. And every manufacturer will specify the cord length of their lens in arriving at the sagittal height of their lenses. And so by using this information that the lab will provide for you, you can get the exact uh, measurements needed. Now we all experience pinguaculas. Uh, I'm in Texas, so we see a lot of, a lot of large pinguaculas. Um, and that's always a challenge in fitting lenses. And with the ESP and with this mapping software, it gives us the height, the width, and the exact location of any kind of scleral abnormality such as a, a pinguacula. And this is very important to communicate to the lab whether you're designing a microvolt, a notch, uh, a CPR, whichever. We can, we can have precise measurements to improve the fitting of our lens. A map that I'm very excited to, to utilize is the scleral profile map, which gives us an idea of the amount of scleral tericity. And it's broken down quite visually into these profile maps indicating spherical, toric, whether a quad, quad lens is needed or something that's so irregular, either we have um, not a good image capture or perhaps we need something beyond um, our standard lenses, maybe we need an impression mold on, on that particular eye. ESP has come up with its own nomogram that helps direct our fitting process. Using the color maps, it can direct us to whether we need um, a torque landing zone, a quad landing zone, or whether we have a highly irregular cornea. So all the information is there to simplify and guide our fitting process. Now we've known for some time that the sclera is very, very straight, unlike the cornea. Once we get off the limbus and onto the sclera, uh, the sclera is very, very straight or tangent. So an uh, additional map that is very useful to, to analyze are the tangent angle maps. So this is where the slope of the sclera is indicated in degrees. And some scleral lens manufacturers use this to design their, their landing zone or, or haptics. And it's a good check against the bisphere elevation map uh, to determine exactly where the steeper uh, areas of the sclera are, where, where your lens is going to ride and where it's going to um, possibly be misaligned to. So the real, the real core of the eaglet eye is, lies in the first fit algorithms. This simplifies our lens selection and fitting process. Taking the bisphere map, we select the lens of choice. And as you can see, over 18 labs are involved. In this case, we'll use the Zen lens from Bosch and Lohm. And let's say we decide to use the bi elevation map. From the HVID, we've selected the 16 millimeter overall diameter. And we just have to click calculate. And from the accurate measurements from the ESP, the algorithm gives us what they feel is the ideal lens with two different sagittal heights, with an optimal base curve, and even gives us suggestions on the advanced peripheral system or landing zone. All that information is there, uh, whether you fit empirically or need to go pull your diagnostic lens. And one of the most exciting features is a direct connect feature that most of the labs now have or soon will. 
And this is where all this data is sent in directly to the, to the lab of, of your choice. You can input over refraction data, uh, all the maps, all the information you, you've gleaned from the sclera. And this improves our accuracy and speeds the fitting process. So thanks for joining us uh, today. I hope this information has been useful to you uh, and that you feel as excited as I do for this wonderful technology. For more information, you can visit eagleteye.com or sclerofitting.com. Send, send eaglet an email at info at eagleteye.com or even sign up for your own demo. So thanks for joining us today and I hope to see you soon. Good luck in your fitting.